What's up YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick video explaining why disclosure will never work and what we got to focus on instead that will work. Disclosure is a failed path. It's a fool's errand. One of the best disinformation tactics is to hype people up for disclosure and then feed them misinformation. It's a play that they've been running over and over for years with great success. The biggest problem we keep running into is that time after time we find that the people promising us disclosure often lack the scientific background to properly analyze and vet that type of information, which they may honestly and genuinely want to provide us with. So I want to offer people a new path, a path that leads to the same exact thing that disclosure promises, for lack of a better word, alien technology, namely free energy and anti-gravity, which I want to point out to people is the same thing as bridging a gap between how we as humans currently understand physics and what physics actually is, how it works, and most importantly, how to use it to build technology that we can use to control all of these natural forces, particularly gravity. That magical answer we are all looking for is essentially a unified field theory of physics or a mathematical theory of everything. This is the one key tool that we are missing which will allow us to build the next generation of technology. And that type of tool is worth billions. And no one in their right mind would simply hand it over to you through a process of open public disclosure, especially not an intelligence apparatus hell-bent on maintaining the upper hand. And that's first assuming that their physics theorists have even figured it out at all, which I really don't think they have. Even if they really did recover an alien craft and were working to reverse engineer it since 1947, it would be like Benjamin Franklin trying to understand how a television set works. Without the right concepts and theory behind all of the various components, it would be an impossible feat for any genius of his time. You would literally have to figure out hundreds of years of science in a few months, something that normally requires many dedicated geniuses devoting their entire life's work to, just to take things a small step further. And then you take those little bits and pieces that these people work their entire lives on, and boom, you put it together and you got a transistor or a capacitor or a whatever. The point is, if we want this technology, then we need to work for it. And that means doing real science, real math, and real experiments. No one's going to simply just hand us the keys to the galaxy. You're more likely to win the lottery than to see the government declassifying any kind of secret technology, let alone super advanced alien technologies. Heck, the Obama administration finally declassified some of the government research into the Bifeld-Brown effect in 2009. And what they didn't declassify were the decades of spreading rumors about the effect being some type of electrogravitic coupling rather than an ion wind in order to create confusion and distraction for would-be physics researchers to waste time on these delicate, low-thrust ion wind devices rather than pursuing better technologies in science. Right now, scientists are probably 15 to 20 years away from figuring out what gravity really is and how it works through quantum entanglement. When that leap in the science is made, incredible technology will surely follow. And I'm talking about the Jetsons, flying cars, and hoverboards. And really, that power is in our hands. If we had the right insights and we had the right team of physicists who had the right, just the right body and knowledge on this quantum entanglement business, I think that we could do it ourselves. Forget disclosure. It's never going to happen, at least not on any level that could actually change things. If we want to see free energy and anti-gravity technology become real within our lifetimes, we need to put our stock into the people who have what it takes to do the actual physics to make that happen, and not the people promising you a free lunch they couldn't possibly deliver if they wanted to. If you believe in disclosure, then you don't understand the science or what it's actually worth. This is the reason I've ignored disclosure for the past several years and have instead focused on learning tensor calculus, group theory, topology, combinatorics, linear algebra, matrix mechanics, Maxwell's equations, gauge theory, string theory, loop quantum gravity, chaos theory, generating functions, path integrals, and a host of other mathematical tools which are key to understanding the core of what physics really is at its heart. Because I don't believe in disclosure. I believe that once you understand physics and can create an entire new mathematical formalism to explain the standard model and beyond, then that beyond part is where all the new physics quantum leap technologies are hidden. And anyone who has done the massive amount of work required to unlock those secrets isn't going to simply give that information away for free. When this technology finally becomes public, mark my words, it will be in the form of a physics discovery and not a disclosure from some government insider looking to set these trillion dollar secrets free. 
This is why I don't even bother with disclosure or exopolitics, and why I stay focused on the technology and the physics side of the business. I don't believe in free lunch. While everyone else was wasting their time calling for disclosure, I was out there talking about real physics and the paths toward a unified field theory. While they were busy begging the deep state to please just tell us the truth and be honest for once, I was hard at work compiling the knowledge and putting together the right team of physicists to actually get this done. So stay tuned, because we are about to come out with something that is going to blow all of the competition away and set this community upon the one true path by which these dreams are not simply hoped for, they are guaranteed. Disclosure or discovery? Think about it.